Hi everyone, this is Ryan Chambers, PC winner from Fremont, California. And today I will be reviewing Mimikyu. So I actually used this Pokemon at the San Jose Regionals. And I used the same exact EV spread and everything. And I used Mentalurb on it because I was afraid of Taunt. That was one of the only problems I had for setting up Trick Room. And I used pretty much a full-on Trick Room team. I used Mimikyu a lot of times with Incineroar or with Benelix. And it was pretty decent, but I wish I had a second Trick Roomer just to keep the Trick Room up for a long time. I ended up using Drompa Gigalith with it in the back, and they ended up stalling the Trick Room out somehow. They, pre they predicted what I would do, and I just wish... I would have used another Trick Roomer as, as well as Mimikyu, but Mimikyu was weak to Will-O-Wisp and a couple other things, so that was kind of the issue with it, and its offense wasn't too great, and it made me unsure of if I should switch out Mimikyu sometimes to Gigalith or Drompa, because I don't want them to take damage and die, so sometimes Mimikyu would just stay in and I wouldn't do anything and before you know it Trick Room would wear off. But it is amazing at setting up Trick Room in the first place. It has Disguise which basically takes nothing for the first hit but you can still take the secondary effects. And I use Trick Room, will -Bush, Shadow Claw, Play Rough. And let me explain the EVs. So, the EV spread is somewhat bulky with Sassy to actually survive a life orb psychic from a Tapu Lele and psychic terrain after this, the disguise breaks. They would often double up on the Mimikyu knowing it has mini minimized to kill it. And it is a ghost fairy type, it's weak to ghost and steel. So they would often use Celestelia or Marowak lead with another faster ally to break my disguise. So that's why I ended up using Incineroar with it. And it worked somewhat well versus both Celestilia and Marowak. Okay, the next one is Ghost DMZ. And it uses, it uses the same exact bulk and same nature everything. The only difference is Ghost DMZ. And with this much attack, it can one-shot a Tapu Lele or Marowak with a Ghost DMZ never-ending nightmare based on the Shadow Claw. Okay, the next one. Uh, computer's taking a while to load here, but the next one... I know the fourth one is a Life Orb one. I, I, okay, Focus Sash. So, this one doesn't need all the bulk since it has the Sash. I know you're thinking, what the heck, Sash? Well, I actually gave it Brave here for the more offense with the Sash. So some good things about it is that it has a little bit more offense. It is able to wall Celestelia or Shadowbone from Marowak after the disguise breaks without needing Fake Out or an ally to support it. But one problem with it is that it can be taunted. However, this one uh, can be pretty useful sometimes. I've actually seen Focus Sash activate a lot on Showdown. Um, that's that's kind of funny, you know, coming from a bulky Pokemon, but it seems to make sense. Okay, so this is the Life Orb Jolly one. This is a somewhat weird way to use Mimikyu, but I've been seeing it enough to where I don't even really think it's that weird anymore because it has enough speed to really use Source Dance somewhat well if, if you catch them off guard. If they think you're trying to trick them and all of a sudden you're super fast with sword stance and you just have play rough, shadow snake, and wood hammer it's going to be hard for them to wall you and um, they might have not even br broke your disguise by then so life orb gives it extra power and this is one weird way to run Mimikyu it actually outspeeds crocodiles, jolly crocodiles, salamance, and a lot of other things and has fairly good typing um, and can probably get off a good hit or two before it dies. I would just recommend using a Pokemon that can change the terrain so that Shadow Sneak can actually hit something 
if they're psychic terrain up. You could just change the terrain and finish something off with a good stab move with life orb and sword sense. That's going to hit something hard. So those are the four different mimic use I would recommend. Try them out. See which one works best for you. I feel like if you're just going for a consistent trick rumor, mental herbs the way to go and then you should probably pair it with another trick rumor like Porygon 2 or something and Mimic you is somewhat weak to Will-O-Wisp so maybe you could pair it with Tapu Fini or counter Will-O-Wisp in some other way maybe not worry too much about the Will-O-Wisp and maybe let it get Will-O-Wisp and then just quickly switch it out after that to a powerhouse even though that might be predictable it's better than probably staying in and just doing hardly any damage with it. Okay, that concludes the analysis for Mimikyu. I'm going to be reviewing a, a few more Pokemon, and I'm going to call it a morning. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.